I think it's one, it's a passion, uh, proactivity, and foresight. I think they, they, they have that uh, community engagement tact. I think they have been in the business in uh, this type of um, activity for some time. Of course, they have learned areas. I remember uh, this is not the first time we are with WTC, we are in Snazongo with them. Uh, doing uh, where well, there was also testing, which was now the overall testing like we are doing now where we have a screening too. They managed to reach as many people as possible in the community. They had targets where each individual was given maybe to test 2,000 2, households. And from there, we get the information. So from their practice, I think they have been evolving in terms of tactics technology and also just the way they have Im impacted is because of the continuous development of their staff most of the time they'll have meetings every week in the facilities and sometimes they'll call them at one central place to update them and also review the data that is coming and see who is contributing personally I attended one here in Choma where they were discussing about the data review and it was personalized in terms of this one is contributing and they wanted to see how they can each one can champion to make sure that they meet their targets. So those have really helped the, the facility staff, the field officers to focus more on what they need to do. And that training, when there's any updates, they update the, 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 the team, including the facility staff, in terms of tact. So even that um, translation of what they know to a facility is also key because at the end of the day, sustainability is about the Minister of Health picking up what DAP has already established and then transitioning it into a facility community activity.